Hey all, it's Ozpain Games with a review and gameplay video of Robot Roller Derby Disco Dodgeball. As the title suggests, um, this is kind of a different take on your first person shooter and your sort of multiplayer um, deathmatch setup. A lot of different game modes in here. Um, it's Disco Dodgeball, so it's pretty much dodgeball set in a disco. Soundtrack's pretty cool if you're into that sort of music. Um, and you're a robot that's on a roller, so you don't actually have legs, you sort of just roll around which can make things quite a bit trickier um, as opposed to your normal sort of standard first person shooter. Probably the easiest way for me to demonstrate the game is just jump into the arcade mode. And um, yeah, let's just jump straight in and I'll show you what it's all about. Alright, so my goal here is just to hit this guy with a dodgeball. Um, just using sort of standard keys. Ricochet. WASD and my left mouse button. Um, I'm charging the ball to 100% before I shoot it. And that just really gives me a bit of extra power and a bit of extra speed on the ball. Let's go for this guy first. So I get a bit of extra money depending on how I hit them. For those ones I'm actually hitting the floor before I hit the bot, so it's giving me a bit of extra money to do that. The easiest way to get them. You can actually catch their balls as well. Kind of challenging to do. Um, you have to time it absolutely perfectly to, to make that happen. And you've also got a few extra things like boost and jump. Um, the boost I use a lot, jump not so much. Ricochet. One lot to go. So, Ricochet. one of the easiest ways oh, you can actually one. kill them is just, yeah, let them have a shot first and then and then take them out. So I got 135 bucks to spend on a power-up. Let's see what I got to buy. Um, th the bonuses here, a lot of them have to do with the way you kill them, so you get an extra bonus for actually killing them a certain way. Um, let's have a look. The ricochet bonus, as you probably noticed, I've been doing a lot of ricochets there, that's probably not too bad. There are a lot of our other power-ups that actually help um, with the gameplay as well, actually help your bot. So, I'm just going to get the ricochet bonus, I'm not going to get anything else. Dunk's really hard to do, well it's not really hard to do, but it's it's um, fairly rare, you pretty much have to, have to hit them right on top. So, yeah. Let's go on to the next level. The AI for the bots isn't actually too bad. Um, they're not. They're not stupid. <laughs> or maybe it's me that's <laughs> the more stupid of the two. Find out where he's gone now. There he is. I actually blocked that ball, but <laughs> the, the one afterwards traded, kind of traded in and got me. So you can't block them, you can actually catch them. Let me see if I can actually get a catch. Ricochet. Oh, that was interesting. Can get a bit spammy like that sometimes. Alright, boss bot coming in. Flame bot. So with this one, I can't actually block his balls. Ricochet. And there he goes. Round one. The distance and the um, the ricochet there actually took out all his health. Normally I would have had to actually hit him a few times to, to make that happen. So let's see if we've got anything else to buy this time. Uh, extra live you get, I should have mentioned that rather start, you get a certain number of lives in arcade mode, so you get five. I've obviously lost one, so I've got four left. Um, hmm. Extra ricochet is pretty cool. You just get one more bounce to try and actually hit the bot, so I'm going to grab that. I might just grab an extra life. Mm, fast shot. So that'll charge my shot faster as I hold down the left mouse button. I'm gonna grab that as well. That'll do me. You get extra money for range as well. So if you hit him further away, you get a bit of extra cash. That was pretty cool. So the, I think the extra ricochet actually really helped there. I, normally I don't think it would have actually got him. Let's see if I can actually catch one. Throw it at me. Nope. You gotta, you gotta um, hit left mouse to catch it just before the ball gets to you, not as the ball gets to you. Just try and pretty much reach out and catch it. I'm getting lost. I'm going straight. You 
can be really challenging to actually find the ball sometimes. Do they come down to me, I think? What's he doing? Big fast. Ricochet. Be lucky. There is, without a doubt, an element of luck to this game as well, but, um, people are really experienced with first person shooters, I don't think I'll have any trouble with this. It takes a little while getting used to just the actual bot, so being a bot rather than being a person and sort of running around, um, you're on a roller so it does make a difference. Once you've sort of adjusted to that, it's pretty standard. So I got to put them both at the same time. Did I do that? Round right, one. Level. See if there's anything in good to buy. Um, Jetpack. Means you can fly around basically. Um, given my skill, there's sort of first person shooters. Tend not to, to be great <laughs> with that kind of thing, so I'm going to ignore the jetpack. Slow mo catch. Haven't actually used that one before. I imagine the ball, as it says, gets sort of slower as it reaches you. I'm going to grab an extra life because I lost a few there. Let's, let's grab the slow-mo catch. Let's see if I can actually pull one off. Wait for the one of the guys to, sh to throw one at me. There we go. So that takes him out. <laughs> Take me out straight away again. That catch is sort of coming in handy. See the colour of the balls. If it's coloured, it means that it's sort of still live and it can still hit you. So just be wary of those. Sometimes you think it's not live, and you try and catch it, and it's and it's some um, extra kills you. Ricochet. Ricochet. Right, he comes the boss spot again. Well, he his ball there. Got him, but he got me. Alright, so that's the arcade mode. Um, as I said, really good fun to get used to the game. I'll just show you one of the death matches um, as well. So I'll just do it in single player. I'm just going to reduce the limit down so it doesn't get too sort of boring. Um, leave them on medium. Um, you can set the player max. So there's a bunch of different settings you can um, set there for the games. But I'm just going to leave those as they are. And we'll just create the match. Right, so I've got a bot on the other side of me. I'm going to let these guys go. If you jump out too quickly, you can actually get killed really quickly. Like that. So, now that they're out of the way, let's go grab the ball and see if we can get some. So, first to 15, um, the bots probably take this out pretty quickly. Like I said before, the AI is not too bad. Uh, there's a homing dodgeball, really, really handy if I can actually stay alive long enough to use it. Tried to catch that and failed. You can't really just spam the left mouse button either when it's coming out. You've got to time it. So they've, they've set that up so you can't just you know sit there and keep spamming the button trying to catch balls. I think that's really good. With death matches and the way I play, I think this will be over in no time. There is also obviously an online mode. Um, the community's not too bad. It's this obviously not as popular as you'd expect or with some of the bigger games, but. It's, there are definitely people there, so it's you know worth, worth checking out. If you have fun with the game, you can jump on multiplayer. The people that are on there are, are pretty good, so don't be surprised if you need to sort of do a bit of practice before you can jump in and just um, yeah, pick it up. Definitely get used to the game, sort of in arcade training modes before you before you jump in. Unless of course you enjoy just being totally monstered. Kill me. 
Ricochet. Always nice when it actually facing you. Makes it a lot easier to move. Can get a bit spammy, especially if you have a lot of players in the same arena at the same time. Can be really difficult to um, to get an accurate shot off. I guess depending on your sort of um, hand-like coordination, your action time um, can be better for others than some. Commentary is kind of cool as well. He says some pretty cool things. I've got actually a boomerang here, so the ball's coming back to me. That's really handy as well. Makes it a hell of a lot easier. I don't have to go and fetch a ball, it'll just come to me. Oh, yeah. It's actually live when it comes back as well, so it can hit people on the rebound. One of the really, one of the really handy power-ups. Came last. Woo well done, me. <laughs> it wasn't actually too bad, depending on um, how we usually play. But yeah, that's that's sort of the deathmatch mode. Um, there is a level system, so you can level up. It just gives you a few extra um, sort of decals and things for your bot, so you can make it look a little bit cooler. But otherwise, it doesn't really have too much of an effect on the game, um, as I've experienced so far. All right, so that's um, that's the game. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, then please leave a comment and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.